As Election Day approaches, county election offices have had a decent turnout already with early voting. Eyewitness News 3 reporter Kaylee Galavis gives us a look at the numbers so far. The midterm elections are just a week away, and this year county election offices have seen a steady turnout for early voting. At last report, Madison County has seen about 799 in-person and absentee ballots. They say they seem busier this year with more absentee ballot traffic. As for Bonneville County, we have sent out about 5,500 absentees. Um, we haven't gotten back in all that we will receive back in. We received about 50% back. We expect um, much higher return than that on the absentees. For early voting, we're now sitting at about 2,500 people who have come in to early vote. And compared to last election, it's interesting because our absentees are up. And so um, it, I don't know if that correlates, but our early voting is down right now. Bannock County says they're seeing a slower turnout compared to the 2018 election with a total of 5,453 in-person and absentee ballots. They say they usually have about 8,000 ballots during the early voting period, but there is still time. Early voting ends this Friday at 5 p.m., and if you have not registered to vote yet, it's not too late. You can still register to vote at the polls on Election Day as long as you are at least 18 years old, have a valid photo ID, and are a citizen with proof of residency in the area. They need to live in the area for 30 days prior to voting. Right now, um, if they bring any kind of photo ID that has their name and a picture and an address with their name, um, it qualifies. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Kaylee Galavis. Election day is November 8th and all in-person and absentee ballots must be submitted no later than 8 p.m. that day.